Hello fluffy people of the world, my name is Liquid Blitz and welcome back to... My camera is on the wrong side of the screen, it's... it's a <laughs> in, I'm recording Bioshock at the same time and I keep my camera on the right for that uh, and I forgot to move it and you know what, I don't care, I've just realised because in this game, sometimes little bits of info pop up in the top left and uh, fuck it. My laziness is an opportunity to test if it's better for this game as well, so I'm going to keep my camera where it is. In the last episode, um, we were Jill and Parker on the ship racing to launch that UAV. Um, I was a bit confused last episode as it happened, but editing these videos gives me an opportunity to, to re-watch everything and see what actually happens. Um, so yeah, we launched a UAV with the express purpose of releasing chaff into the atmosphere or whatever, so that the solar nuke bad boy would get confused and target that instead of the ship that we are on. Um, and it worked, but it still sun nuked like that spot a couple of miles away, and the last thing we saw was a tidal wave incoming to poor old Jill and Parker's ship. Fuck knows how they're gonna survive that shit, but let's just, um, let's just continue. I'm get this would be a perfect time for like a switcheroo. I bet we play as Chris now. Looks like somebody's found the Queen Zenobia. You haven't changed a bit. I love how... I love how O'Brien knows this guy is evil. It's like all my worst enemies come back to haunt me. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltrum, perhaps a dozen of them. Yes, there's the rub. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. There it comes. But yeah, how does O'Brien not realize that General Morgan, or whatever his name is, Count Dooku, is just evil as shit? He did have that suspicious moment last episode, didn't he? Where he was like, I'm sorry, Jill, I can't help you. Um, but it is what it is. Episode 8, All on the Line. I've got a cold today, by the way. Immediate um, containment is imperative. Far too much is at stake here. What is going on with O'Brien? You are blinded. A humanist with no cause. It's a lost cause, Director O'Brien. This is Count Dooku talking, isn't it? Morgan. Oh, yeah. You're playing with fire again. But this time, you will get burned. Loose ends can only exacerbate the situation. Think twice, Director. Or you may regret it. Am I the only one that thinks that guy's uh, voice? You uh, never disappoint, Morgan. But once we have the truth, your mistakes will never be repeated. Am I the only one who thinks the old that Morgan's voice is like too young for his face? Oh shit. Hmm. I don't know how this ship could possibly survive. Do you mean time to clear out? There's a wave in our face. Oh shit, oh my god, we're in the action. Fucking hell! Jesus! Game over. That's it, we're dead. Pause for a moment. Pause for a moment. Is this... Is this where we get the opportunity to just swim to all those places where I couldn't loot this shit? All this stuff that was on top of pipes and so on is now my opportunity. Because it makes sense, we can... We're underwater now, we can sort of swim anywhere and everywhere. But yeah, I swear to God, General Morgan's voice is the voice of like a 30 year old and he looks like 70 years old. It just, it seems oddly youthful, does his voice. Um, right, okay. Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting to just get fucked right from the start. <sighs> Make it out of the flood. How the fuck? You saw that tidal wave last episode and in that flashback. It was like 300 foot tall. Ain't no ship surviving that shit. Um, any, any loot? Can we still, um, can we still scan? No, we can't. You, you never, there's always handprints and stuff to, to, to scan. 
R the, the last time we saw Rachel, she was right here on this corner, by the way. Is she going to be swimming? I still think what happened at the end of the last episode was bullshit. That timed segment. I left the rocket launcher. Is, is it still here? Is it floating? Oh. Jill, are you okay? No. I think so. Let's keep moving. Um, okay, I'm guessing this is not one of those loot and scan segments. Let's just swim away. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. Or? I, got, I, I got that already. Hang on, did I get that before I died that time? And then I didn't get it when I survived the second time. That's interesting. Oh, Jesus, is there any other scanner uh, lootables? That was an important lootable right there. We have to move fast. We don't have long. Um, let's check the office for no real reason. Oh, I can scan now. Water is rising. We have no choice. We have to get out of here. Hang on, is the water actually rising? Oh shit. No, it's not right. We've got all the time in the world. <laughs> We've got all the lootings and scanning time in the world. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you see? The water may be rising, but Mama needs some shotgun shells. All right. It's been a few days since the last recording session, so I'm just familiarize myself with shit. Uh, okay, done. We're familiar. We've still got the revolver, sniper, shotgun combo. We left the rocket launcher. Um, I still don't know how the fuck the, the pickup system works. Because I, rem I remember the last episode um, at the ending. Hang on. Yeah, the end of the last episode, we had that pickup dialogue where it says that it automatically goes to your box, but it sort of didn't. Uh... Now, I did pick up the, sh the rocket launcher. Um... Uh, but then I, p I switched for the shotgun again. Now, if that message dialogue was to be believed, the rocket launcher should now officially be in here. If it's not, I'm calling bullshit. Uh, ooh, it is. It is. Shit. Fuck's sake. That means, unless we can magically go back, that means I did miss the assault rifle earlier in the game. Why didn't I click on it? I didn't have to pick it up, I could have just clicked on it and it would have been in my damned box. Um. Oh, the rocket launcher is a fire once and throw away type. I wonder if that was there to use on that big, big fat motherfucker. Or Rachel, right before I got to the controls. I'll leave it in there. Um. I will, however, throw on that damage onto something that I just got. Um. That's got damage four, that's got damage one. That's got damage two. I'll upgrade that two with the three I just got. Now my shotgun's even better. Uh, and I'll put the damage two on the sniper. Magic. Yeah, um, I'll leave the rocket launcher in here. If there's any tough, like, extra tough shit, I can always... Um... Oh, there's another scannable, man. I can always, you know, reload, come back, pick it up. I'm sorry, I'm, t I'm totally just taking the piss. <laughs> the, the, the ship is sinking. I'm just uh, taking my time. That is not the way out. Find another exit. Uh, I'm looking for any typical video game tropes. Follow the light or, I don't know, something. Uh... Let's consult the map, shall we? Um, oh, the, I, f I forgot. We have a destination. It's... It's... Uh, oh, it's on the minimap. Okay. Yes, yeah, this one. Okay. Is this some sort of control panel in here? That I missed? Clearly. Yes, I did. I'm not getting a response. Uh... Is there some sort of vent? Or was there a ladder out here that I completely missed like a moron? 
That's not a bomb, is it? I'm looking at the destination. The destination thing is right here. Can we, uh... Ah, this place is sealed off from the other section. Okay. <gasps> there you go, magic door. Is there any lootables? Oh, I, I can't stand not loot, you know, missing things, so... In fact, can you scan when you're above the waterline? No. Shit, okay, never mind. This is just as awkward as swimming as Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2. It's just as awkward. Oh, oh there we go. At least I know we can't scan or... Uh, or m mess around underwater. So I can just rush through. Um, now, where are we? I, I want to make sure... I want to figure out if we've been to a place or not, you know? Because down here is where all the, the shit that I couldn't loot is, vaguely, like, back here and maybe even in this area. Um, hang on, Jesus Christ. How far down can we go? I think I re Oh, hello. I think I remember, actually, this whole staircase. That's where we're going. So, let's give it a swim upwards, shall we? I think I remember the staircase. There's a broken stairs somewhere. Oh, unless up here is where I'm supposed to go. Oh fuck, what's this? Trident? Have I had a trident key? Let's swim through the field and look for an exit. Okay, got it. I'm glad I've turned the sound down. The, the music volume down. Um, the the music would if the music was any louder, I would have that sense of urgency to like rush, etc. But come on, bro, that there's scannables and the loot. There's still legitimate looting to be done. I know I make a joke of it, but there is you know actual reason to loot. I think we're good though. I think. Door unlocked. I don't know what key I just used. Hang on, hang on. Uh, right, I'm, I'm, ch I'm checking pipes. If you're wondering what the fuck I'm doing, turning around. Because this is Chris, Vermillion, Parker, Jill. Listen carefully. The ship is done for, but we can't allow the virus to contaminate the oceans. Jessica and I are heading for the Queen Zenobia. Just hang on. So we've got to retrieve. Don't die in there. Chris out. Are we about to do a switcheroo? Please let me loot this first. We're gonna do a switcheroo to Chris. I'm actually surprised uh, we haven't already switched to Chris. This would have been an ideal moment for the tidal wave to come in, like take the ship out, but we don't know Jill's fate, you know. Um, and then it cuts to Chris, and we've got to rescue Jill. <sighs> Uh, hang on, we've got lootables. Hang on, hang on, no, 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 no. Um, no, that's a knifeable box, all right. Um, can you not stamp on it? No, never mind that. No, 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 no. This is bullshit. We can't fight underwater. Um, we need to... Oh, shit, man. Oh, fuck. We're gonna swim around him. Swim around him! This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit! It's on my ass! Fuck off! No, no, no! Swim around him! Swim around him! I don't want to be too hasty here. This is exactly where shit could be found on pipes and stuff. Um. Okay, we can get up here. Let's just do a little once over. Um, I know damned well. There's one. Th there's one piece of loot specifically I want, and it's on a. It's on a tall um, stairs up. I don't know if it's this here, this thing, that we're nowhere near. Um. 
I think it is, actually. <gasps> Let's just swim around for a little bit. Our destination is like... On us or above us. I don't think so. Um, let's go back through here. I remember the way back. Oh, never mind. I do remember the way back to where I'm trying to fucking get to. I can't, I can't go back. Um. Well, fuck you then. Any other ways? Did I come through here? Oh, this- the door to the monsters fucking works fine. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off, man! Jesus Christ, would you fucking get out of the way? Oh, move the mouse, move the mouse, move the mouse, move the mouse, move the mouse! I'm moving it, I'm fucking moving it! Jesus Christ. Oh, would you fucking- Fuck off, man! There- there, there are- oh, Jesus. I can't- it's too awkward for me to show you right now. But there, I, there are there are scratch marks on my mouse pad from what I just did. I was literally doing this. No joke. Uh, like a foot of distance, like that. Fast, 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 fast. And it didn't give a fuck. Like how how fucking fast and ferociously am I supposed to damage my desk just to be free of some horrible fucking demon monster? That is some bullshit. Alright, where am I? Jesus. This is Chris. Vermillion, Parker, Jill. Listen carefully. Is Vermillion the Jill's is done name? For. But we can't allow the virus to contaminate the oceans. Jessica and I are heading for the Queen Zenobia. Just hang on. We'll I'm, contact I you soon. Don't die in there. Chris out. I'm pretty sure Vermillion is Jill's like handle. Fuck off completely. What's over here? Let's go through this door. Move! Fuck off! Fuck off! Move your ass! Jesus fucking Christ. You can't fight them at all. Um. Oh sh <gasps> You know, I was thinking of the other bits of loot. I completely forgot. I completely, utterly forgot about the fucking assault rifle. I'm gonna switch out the, uh... Oh, I wanna equip, um... Shit, I wanna equip, uh, the sniper rifle, but you can't equip weapons underwater? How fucking awkward is that? Um... Alright, I've gotta get on land or in air or something. I don't think this is good enough. I think I've got to be walking. Yeah, I, I do. Um, oh, that is fucking awkward. Where was the, where's the, oh, hello. Where's the last place? Or the next place that you can walk? Um, I think this is a dead end, isn't it? Okay, let's get some more air. Well, I'm fucking thankful I died, because I skipped right over this room. Where is this room? This is... I think it's that blue dot is bullshit. I think that this is the room there um, that we're in. Oh god, what else have I forgotten? That the loot on the tall stairway bit on top of a pipe. I'm pretty sure the the reason I want it is because I think it's a um, an ammo case that increases your max ammo, and that's why I'm trying to go out of my way to get it right. Swim past these motherfuckers. I'm not dying again. Fast, fast, fast as shit, boy. Fast as shit, boy. Loot! <gasps> Illegal custom mod! Hell yes. Right, faster shit, boy. We haul an ass. Well, that's the main two things in this area. I literally forgot about the main two things. <laughs> in that area, at least. Um, right, that door is locked. That door is locked. Um, let's get some air. Fucking I'm sweating. It's not even hot and I'm sweating. Why in the fuck? What what sick shit is going on here? What am I looking at? 
I thought I was being attacked by a monster. No, it's it's fucking Parker trying to 69 Jill when we're swimming for our lives. What the fuck? That's hilarious. <laughs> you keep swinging, swimming, Parker. That's some weird shit. Okay, let's go. He clearly wants to swim, so. Can we get through this door? No, right. Um. So, our destination is either this giant tank looking job, or it's, uh. Well, it's either up or down, isn't it? I thought we might have to do something with this, um, but I guess not. Is it literally. Oh, of course, I'm an idiot. We can climb out. I'm an idiot. Now I'm certain I've got everything. There might be a couple of bits of loot, but I think we've got everything. You know, I'm, th I'm trying to think of the tall staircase. I don't think it is that tall thing here. I think it's actually... Um, it it's behind the fucking words. But I think it's that, um, the one up there that goes back up to the main area. Because I remember that the pipes with the loot that I'm thinking of was quite early coming to the underground area. So I think we're, I think we're going to be going back up there. So let's keep going. It won't be the, the worst thing in the world to miss that. Oh, the, the worst thing would be to miss the gun, that, which I've got. So fast as fuck, fuck, no, I fail. All right. Okay. Oh, you see, I wasn't going fast then. I was going far, afar, if that makes any sense. Oh. Will this let us get back into the previous room? Uh. No. Right, okay. We might as well check everywhere around. You never know. Yeah, I, I, did, I got out of that grab there, not by moving my mouse fast, but my, by going even wider, like further distance. Interesting. It would be more helpful if there was like a kick button. Let's get some oxygen. <laughs> you know, even with the music turned down, I'm still like stressed. Jesus Christ. What are these things for? Are they for monsters? Wait. More monsters? Now there should be something on top of this pipe in here. There you go, just a basic mod. Anything in here before I get my ass grabbed? Fuck off, man! Oh, fucking hell. What a, what a horrible piece of gameplay, giving you absolutely no way of defending yourself. Well, that rifle, I wanted to walk on land so I could switch to my sniper rifle and switch, you know, switch the sniper for the assault rifle, but it should simply be at the next weapon box, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just leave it back there. I don't need it when I'm underwater, so. What the fuck is through here? Hello? Um... There's a weapon box. Can't use it, just underwater. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, hang on. Let me go back. After I get some fucking oxygen. Um, you know, I completely forgot about oxygen. Shit, man. Any oxygen? Um. Okay. I thought that whole staircase area was I guess it's slightly further back still yeah well it must be okay let's keep going Jill's a good fucking swimmer I, I would be long dead I'd have died in the first room I can hear monsters <laughs> Yes, I can. Probably through those vents in the vents! In the vents! In the vents! Right, not fast, but big movements. It works! Okay. 
Right, it should be here behind me. I know it is. Where is it? I know it is. There it is. Finally, it took me like seven episodes. <laughs> but we finally got the fucking thing. Thank God for that. Right, I'm free to get the fuck out now. Oh, Jesus. Well, let's, let's, let's go for oxygen. I don't think there's any reason. Fucking hell, man. <gasps> there's no reason to hang around in here. Go, 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 go. This is Chris. Are you two all right? Chris. Yes, we're fine. But the ship is sinking fast. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous with the ship's hall. Ship's Roger. hall. Roger, we'll be waiting. Okay, see you soon. Chris out. Right, I thought it might take us away then switch to Chris. Um, What's our healing situation like? Two out of five. We're packing some serious heat with grenades and shit. Full on grenades. Um, So it was a rifle... Um, It was rifle ammo increase that we just got. Um... That's the it's it's just the sniper. I thought it might be for the assault rifle, but it's not. That's the yeah machine gun ammo ammo for submachine gun and assault rifle. Okay, well, I think I will be switching the sniper for the assault rifle next chance we get. But hey, I'm still glad I got it. Let's just take a minute. I know we're f we're filling up with water fast and it's sinking, but let's not be hasty, Master Mariadoc. Okay. This scanner is broken. Oh, hang on. The ship may be sinking, but that's no reason to not take inventory and uh, loot some shit. The thing is green. Why is it green? I mean, you know... I might make a laugh and a joke out of it, but eight shotgun shells. That's very big. That's a big find for, like, something you can easily miss. Um, there is that door down there that requires the key card, which I never used and I could use right now. I'm in the fucking room with it. You know what I'm going to do. There might be monsters swimming around, but um, it's it's down to the bottom. And then it's one of the two doors. Three doors. Oh, shit, how am I going to find this? Um, down to the bottom, and then it's one of the three doors. I'll look for the key card thing. There should be a key card slot. Right, faster shit, boy. Faster shit, boy. Faster shit, boy. What's that? There's loot. Oh my god, there's actually loot around. Oh, no. oh, okay, there's loot. I we're going to die. Which do I favour more, loot or life? Fuck off. Oh, there's thousands, man! There's fucking thousands! How are we supposed to do this? Get off! I mean... Hit it. Thanks for the tip. Hitting certain areas on enemies inflicts greater damage. Would help if I could fucking attack! Well, I can't not get the loot, man. Is it going to respawn me back up there? Where's it Where's it put me? Hang on, where's it put me? Uh, I, I assume I've still got everything that I got before. The illegal parts. Yeah, okay, good. I'll, do, I'll just do this fast as shit. And I'll try and open that keycard door whilst I go through there now before I go up to the surface. Fast, 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 fast. Professional, 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 man. That's how you do that. We're, we're min-maxing this shit. Is that, is that over there? I can see it. Fuck off. Where's this go? It might just go back to places I don't need to go. Like, I, I think I could have come here earlier. take any I'll take any and all ammo and shit what the fuck is through here 
Well, there's ammo and shit. Um, and we're safe for a minute. Anything else? It might be too late. There might have been like scannables and things in here. But I'm getting a load of ammo, so I'm, I'm happy. Oh shit, door unlocked and everything. Where the fuck am I? Oh! I guess this was just another way in here. Right, okay, let's go back then. Mystery solved. Ooh. Every time I've died in this game, I've like found some new shit that I would have missed if I never died. You know? Pretty much. So I'm glad I've actually died. Right, back into the big old room with the monsters. I want to get those couple of bits of loot before we surface. Oh, they're right there, man. Fucking hell. Right, hang on. Fuck off. One. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Faster shit. Faster shit, boy. Nothing else. Go, 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 move, 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 I think Jim actually swims technically faster than them. I can just go in wide sweeping circles and they can't catch me. Next floor. Behind us, behind us. Move, you ass! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, everything's sorted, done. This is Chris, you two all right? Chris! Yes, we're fine. But the ship is sinking fast. We've heard this before. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Oh, Rendezvous with the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay. See you soon. Chris out. Sorry for the, uh... Sorry for the delay. Now I've got to loot all this shit again. Right, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. That's the last time I choose to go go take a dip with more monsters. But now we're in a much better position. Even got more magnum ammo. Nice. Oh fuck off, man. Um, anything down here? C can he? Can that thing attack Jill? Uh, attack Parker instead of Jill? Make my life easier. Fuck off, fuck off. They're sort of friendly as long as you keep keep your distance. They're sort of like like an octopus. Just keep your distance and all is good. Oh, you know, I didn't realise my face camera was covering the minimap. That's a problem. Question guys, which which do you value more? Like, in the top left you've got the objective and in cutscenes like the time and the location pops up in the top left under my camera do you value that info more or do you value the minimap more you can still see the how much uh you can still see how much health items i've got that's the grayed out number two and you've got my little i suppose you've got one corner of the minimap i don't know you're not really missing much with the minimap I could just move my shit down. I could not be a fool. I don't know. It's fine, fuck it. Um, what was the first one I just got? Fire rate three and then something else? Uh, um, scoping in is too awkward, honestly, with the sniper rifle. As much as I love sniping, the hunters and shit are too fast in this game. So I am going to... Uh. Hmm. Oh, F2, 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 F2. There you go. I want to remove them all. Switch this for the new boy. Right. And then let's throw on some serious fucking damage with this. I think I just got another a second damage four. I've got one on the Magnum. Yeah. I am going to put some fucking big, big boy damage on this. Damage four. Hang on. Yeah. 
We only have a max of three things. That's damage four. What else have we got? Um, burst four. Hang on, is this a semi-automatic weapon? Or is it semi? This shouldn't be a semi-automatic. Why is a burst fire a thing? Um. Yeah. I think we'll ignore burst fire. In fact, no, that can only go on this gun. It should be fully automatic. Uh, how oh, bollocks. Um, let me just quickly try this. This is a waste. Let me just try holding the button down for a split second. Yeah, it's fully automatic. Now, I like control of every shot. Do I really want burst fire? Oh, it's the right, the different. Burst one is just for the pistol. Two shots. Burst two is also two shots, but for the shotgun? You can, like, semi-auto the shotgun. Oh, my God. And then burst four is just for the assault rifle. Um, you can't put much else on. Up, ups the power to put enemies into a daze. I don't care about mag size, so I'll throw daze on. And I'm going to try the burst. Um, let's just try. I don't mind a three-shot burst on an assault rifle. That being said, if I want to kill something with one shot, it's going to waste two more shots now. So I might not like this. Anything else? Let's just leave it on for now. I've got, like, no ammo for it, which is the problem. The ship looks remarkably well for sinking. There. Oh, fuck. Reveal? Villain reveal? Is this the bald guy? It must be Gordon Freeman. You almost missed the party. Why would you say that? Why would you not realise that you're the butt end of the joke? You're you're the one that's been played, Parker. That must be the agent we saw, the bald guy. I can't rem rem remember his name. Uh, let's do this. At the end of the episode. Or are we doing an old bait and switch? My v oh god, C and A. My rankings are getting shit. A little earlier, Mediterranean. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous with the ship's hall. Roger, we'll be waiting. Okay, see you soon. Chris out. A little earlier, so this is like what, 15 minutes ago? Queen Zenobia. Oh jeez, more like what's left of her. She doesn't give a fuck. They're keeping their balance remarkably well. Well. Stay sharp. There's something out there. What the fuck is that? We've got two miniguns. Oh my god. At least we've got some good firepower. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Fucking Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay, this is this is one. Annoying! Because the satellite's laser fried out all the electronics. Yeah, it's worse than a blackout. How many of these things are there? Huh. Keep your aim sharp, they're not letting up. You could. How are they so blase? How are they so not giving a fuck? How many tentacles are there? Going around, hang on. I need to let you can overheat the weapon, I think. Oh my god, man. Is this the Kraken? Is there legit a, a fucking alien Kraken? I am trying my best to hit those things. Jesus. Oh my god, what the fuck? Fuck. What the fuck is this? What a horrific turn. These are all tentacles of one creature. We're nearly at the ship, I think. 
Why do I have to do all the shooting? Jill, can you shoot some shit as well, please? Oh my god, man. Fuck you. I don't know if I'm doing damage or not. Well, if the tidal wave didn't fuck this shit up, this monstrosity will. <laughs> oh, I've got the skills. Oh, we're here now. Queen Zenobia. Fuck me. Oh, God. My stress level's getting higher. How would you get on a ship of this size? Aboard the Zenobia. How fucking big is this ship? Jesus, that was like super tall next to us. I can't believe how blase they both are about that fucking monster. Here. Jessica, we have a promise to keep. Let's go. Great. A cruise, just the two of us. Only the whole thing is sinking. I, I, I cannot with these people. BSAA patrons, you stopped the Regia Solis. Now I will reveal what I know. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secrets she keeps. Thank you. What secrets? Consider this. First, why did it take till now to find the Queen Zenobia? How was it able to float around the Mediterranean undetected? It wasn't magic. All good questions. Second, why did all traces of Veltro vanish after the Terra Grigia panic? Because it was the FBC all along? Why don't you tell us, huh? Huh. <laughs> and third, why is someone trying to use the Regia Solus to destroy the Zenobia? The answer to those questions will lead you to an inconvenient truth. You were to have found it, and that. Uh, uh clown face, Conan O'Brien. Jessica, why did you fire? To protect our people. Isn't that our job? Uh. Did she? Don't you dare die. Damn. Oh well, I, I could I saw that coming. Hang on. Why? Why is part of Viltra? Well, we saw that coming a mile off, but we didn't see Jessica killing him. What the fuck? She's clearly evil. You don't you don't preemptively kill a motherfucker. Find the truth about Terra Grecia. Jesus. <coughs> I've had a theory all along that I've voiced that uh, Veltra was actually the good guys, uh, I don't know how good they are, but they're, uh, they are not the evil motherfuckers behind all the bioterrorism. I think that's the FBC and Count Dooku. They, it's been thrown in our face, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, I saw, I saw him being a Veltro guy, and I've even seen Veltro being kind of the good guys. And then Jessica, honest to God, I mean, a lot of shit has been thrown in our face. I did not expect Jessica to... Uh, to be a bad guy, but then at the, I don't. I'm not calling her a bad guy. We don't know shit yet. But you, you don't. In every movie, every video game, you don't preemptively kill someone who's about to say something unless you want to cover some shit up. Happens all the fucking time. Reminds me of um, season one of the Walking Dead game with Lee and Clementine and shit, and one of the dairy farmers, one of the brothers. What's his fucking name? Danny. Um, you're in the woods with Lee and Danny, and that woman, Jolene or whatever, is about to reveal some shit about Danny and the dairy farm, and Danny shoots us mid-sentence. Exactly the same thing just happened. Exactly the same. Interesting. Well, we do know... Let's just take a moment here. We do know that Jessica and Parker were both FBC. During that flashback episode where we played events leading up to the destruction of Terra Grigia, Parker with her short hair back then, not um, fucking Jessica with her short hair back then, and Parker were both FBC. Jill and Chris, I don't think ever were. They were just BSAA later on. So Jessica was FBC. 
She might have never stopped being FBC, you know, you know what I'm saying? She might be in cahoots with Count Duke, or, you, know you know what I'm saying? Parker definitely has no fucking clue. He is just BSAA through and through. Um, for, I think for him, he's, the FBC is definitely in the past. Um, did I save it? Save it again, fuck it. But uh, yeah, that's my new theory. Clearly. Jessica and Count Dooku are in cahoots. Although, then again, Raymond, the Cl Conan O'Brien clown face with the red hair, he, is, he has been revealed to be Veltro. Um, and he's talking about revealing the truth and shit. Now, there was a cutscene earlier in the game to the flashback again, before Terra Grigia was destroyed. Raymond was following um, Count Dooku's orders. Specifically, so I thought I thought Raymond was um, General Morgan's bitch. Basically, he's like he's like his right hand man. Um, pff, fuck it. Let's let's keep on going. Forty six minutes. Let's keep going. I got an S that time. That was much better. I killed that tentacle bitch. Is no one questioning why the fuck she just shot him? What a terrible loss. She just shot him. Put your guns on her. She's playing into Chris's have much longer. bullshit. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched the Queen Samiramis. Yeah, that's right. Push her off. So I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sinking. Jessica, you with me? She wants to be with Chris. Yeah. Where? A little friendly partner swapping should keep us on our toes. Mm. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. Oh. You two buy us some time. I feel like parking. Jill, this works anywhere, even underwater. It should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Also, I've marked off all the possible locations for the lab. I was gonna. He never got the hint. What a drag. Well, he clearly did. He's already taken, Jessica. Of course he got the hint, you moron, Jessica. I don't like Jessica anymore. I like... I like her purple sense of style, but I, I, I don't like her as a person. Collapsing into his arms. Chris has no fucking interest in you. Clearly, um... I, I was gonna say, before that little last interaction there, the only two people I trust here completely are Jill and Chris. Parker... Like, slightly less so, because he was also FBC, and I don't really know much about Parker, but Jill and Chris are fucking solid. And then she goes and does that. She falls into Chris's arms. She was asking earlier in the game, like, whether, um, fucking Chris trusts her as much as he trusts Jill. Like, I thought it was just jealousy at the time. Clearly bullshit, and she's trying to get onto his good side and shit. <sighs> and then, then they, then Parker... Remember, also, XFBC suggests they swap partners. What if it turns out both Parker and Jessica are both, like, still with the FBC? They were FBC, they might both still be. I, I trust Parker more than that. Um, but that, that partner swap moment that Parker suggested has put a little question mark uh, f f for me, for Parker. I'm not sure I trust him. I don't trust Jessica at all. So this was all Raymond's doing? No. No. I think we've only heard half the story. Use your head, Jill. There's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense yet. Go to the laboratory. Now, which direction are we going? Um. Hang on. Which fucking way? It's not. We're not going back through the casino. We're going back down again. Jill, not that way. We gotta find the lab. Understood. So back, back down into the fucking depths. I'm glad Jill and Chris are back together again. Oh. You know, I, I, I have been thinking about Jessica's dress sense. How it, it looks very, very cool, but it doesn't look very protagonistic. It does look kind of antagonistic. You know what I'm saying? 
She, she's dressed a bit too stylishly to be a good guy. Dude. Can I kill it? Or is it just stunned? It's, okay, it's just stunned. It's just stunned. Okay. So that's what Chris just gave us in the cutscene. Interesting. How many of those have I got? Um... Which one is it? Pulse grenade, right? It's the tall one. That one. Okay. Hurry! We can cut through the bilge to get to the lab. We can go through Careful. the bilge. The water is infested with infected. Roger that. Roger that. Well, we've already looted this place. Are we really going swimming again? Right. Get the pulse things out. I should be okay if we swim faster. Shit. Jesus Christ, right, let's just follow the destination thing. Oh, hang on, right, we're going through the door that I unlocked. As always, I was probably premature in coming here. As always. It's, I, I like to think it's just me being thorough, but, uh... Fuck it. Uh, I don't really care to swim past the motherfucker. That's not the way to go. Keep swimming. Jesus. Well, I'm lacking the twists and turns. Fuck off. <laughs> Just fuck off. Oh, he's ahead of me. Well, hang on, hang on. I'll follow him, but is there any other loot? <laughs> um, I don't think there was any reason to go back to the control room. Let's just follow. Hang on, did it go up? <gasps> no, yeah, melon. Go up. Because of this game alone, I need a new mouse pad. I've scratched the hell out of my mouse pad. At least he's leading me where to go. Are we going to see Rachel again? We did that. We did last see her where the rocket launcher was. Maybe that was the time to. Maybe that was like a almost like an optional place in the game where you could actually kill her, and I missed it. Jill, try using this. Does he just magically have every fucking thing? Trident key. Yes, sir. Found that key on the Samiramis. Oh. The ships are exactly the same, and the lab should be this way. The stereo audio of this game is um, is weird. It is if, if there's a, if there's something going on to your left, it's only in your left ear. Now I know that's what stereo is, but I feel like there should be a bit of residual audio on the other side. It's just a bit jarring. The audio only coming out of one ear. Very high tech. Whoa. This is uh, this is suddenly very umbrella like. I tell you, just put some lots of lights, some plain walls, and it's all like white and silver, and it's automatically like an umbrella place. But it is a laboratory. All right, we need to go up. There's a weapon box here. There's a security lock. It looks like a fin fingerprint recognition system. Can I chop off a little hand of someone with a fingerprint? <laughs> looks like this is our safe room. Oh shit, I'm forgetting to scan and shit. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Hang on. What the fuck? Where was that? Oh. Oh, bloody hell, man. Uh, you be better to be thorough. That's in the right there. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> no, right. Okay. Better to be safe than sorry. 
I need more pulse grenades. It's the only thing I can use underwater. Um, I don't think I need anything else. We're sort of good. I sort of did everything I needed to do. <gasps> We've got Chris's weapons. Well, hang on. How, how's this working with... Does he, does he just have his own magic, like, weapons now? And I've just received Chris's weapons. Hmm. I wonder if they're better. Like, straight up, two different assault rifles and shit. Hmm, I tell you, you know what? Has piercing ability plus a wide hit zone. Oh, same as that, yeah. Uh, that fires faster, bigger capacity, without even an upgrade. Um, and I think, I think Chris's does more damage. I'm gonna keep Jill's, because we just fucking got it, and why, why not, you know? Um, as for the shotgun, I like the look of the Benelli M3. Um, it shoots faster. Mmm. You know what? I think I'm tempted to just keep Jill's load at the same. I'm happy with these three weapons. Registering fingerprint. Uh surely that's not gonna work. Fingerprint registration. Oh you just you just register your fingerprint. Okay. Researching the deep sea virus. Okay, let's uh let's get into reading mode. Montpellier Marine University conducted research via unmanned submersible uh, during the fourth expedition to the Kermadec Trench. Kermadec Trench at 9,000 meters. Fuck me. A new. 9,000 meters? What the fuck is 9,000 meters down? That's nine kilometers. That's like. Eight kilometers is five miles. So nine is like 5.2 miles down. I didn't think there was anything that low. Must be why it's a, a named trench. A new type of super deep sea predatory fish was discovered. The deep seas... Oh, is this, like, giving us the, the origin of this, like, a virus or whatever? The deep seas have a unique effect on living organisms, but this creature, in addition to the usual tolerance to high pressures, displays an unbelievable degree of motility... Never seen that word before. ...and a ferocity not usually found at such depths. What surprised us after examining the fish was that these unique traits were not native to the fish's biology, but were caused by a viral infection. Owing to the unfathomable nature of this virus, we decided to give it the name The Abyss. It's amazing how you know, when I was, was like, when I was a young whippersnapper, I just thought all the virus shit in Resident Evil was one single virus. One original, vi like, zombie virus and that was it, but we've had, mo we've had the mold storyline in Seven and Village, completely nothing at all to do with the zombie virus. That's it had it had its own origin hundreds of years ago. And then we've got the, the original T virus, the fucking original zombie virus. Dr. Fucking whatever his face was uh, created the G virus, William Birkin and his wife. So that's like two viruses. I think we might have had some other virus as well that I can't remember, and now we've got this underwater fish virus just thrown, thrown into the mix. All of a sudden, in this universe, you've got multiple viruses and things all popping up at the same time. We will continue to research it. We must find out why it takes the large fat and water reserves of deep sea fish, which are suited to the high pressure, low oxygen, low temperature depths, and turns them into high density bone and muscle structures that are not usually found in organisms who live in deep water. So, a.k.a., why does it turn little, tiny little fish into huge, fucking strong monsters? Um, if we can successfully develop a working bioweapon, we will have moved... A, we will have moved research in this field light years ahead. It is important to note blood transmission of the virus happened in 99.76% of all cases to date. So you're fucked if you get this. Okay. Just instant... Instant... Virus. In rare cases, some test subjects do not become infected if they take the virus orally, perhaps because it is diluted 
We will do all we can to improve the effectiveness of this virus and redouble our efforts. I wonder if, like, Jill or someone is going to get exposed to it, but being the zero point, uh, 0.24% that doesn't get infected. Okay, interesting. It wouldn't mention the 99.76% uh, infection rate for no reason. Well, Jill's fingerprints in the system. Let's do this. It's as simple as that in this place. Zero security, just, just whoop, and the system has your fingerprints. Please enter the sterilization room one at a time. I don't like that. Oh well, though. Ooh, we gotta go check out what that is. I thought this was gonna be an elevator. Funnily enough. Oh, more readables. Scar, uh, Scar Miglioni development document. Scarmiglione is a bioweapon that utilizes the well-suited DNA of a shark. Is this those horrible motherfuckers underwater? The genetic makeup of sharks has changed very little during their history as predators for millions of years. You know, I heard early today that, um, like, as old as alligators are, like, crocodiles and alligators are, like, ancient, basically, like, still dinosaurs that ex still exist um, and haven't changed for all that time. I heard today that sharks were even older than alligators. Which is crazy. Coincidence that this I, I read this on the same day. So, the genetic makeup of sharks has changed very little during the history of predators for millions of years, and the use of that DNA provides the fierce aggression of these in these weapons. The scar Miglione uh, form and color resembles that of its shark ancestors, and its spiny appendages resemble lances. We ha th these are the ones we've been facing, aren't they? The spines are a characteristic of car cartil cartilage, cartilaginous fish. They form when an area of placoid scales mutate and combine with hardened muscle fiber. This allows the creature to use the piercing attacks and move with as much agility as land animals. On top of this, the scales are as strong as an armored car. Jesus. <laughs> Far surpassing the scales of a normal shark. Do sharks have scales? I, f I figured they were just like slippery, like like a one-piece unit. I don't see scales on a shark. This gives them unparalleled frontal defenses. Okay, te okay. Um, translation, attack from the side or behind. T textbook video game bosses and monsters. Um, right, let's quickly go check that illegal mod. Uh, narrow one. Is that going to make the shotgun spread less by any chance? I bet it is. I bet it fucking is. Um. Uh. Yes, it is. It is. Um. Yeah. So it's more accurate at long range. Don't really care. I'm only using the shotgun basically point blank. Um. I'll be honest. Now, while I'm here, I've just realized I might give the higher damage to the shotgun, not the assault rifle. It's, it's fucking monstrously high damage anyway. And I kind of want to make it even stronger. And I've got so much ammo for it, I'm going to do it. Let us... Uh... Yeah. No. Right, take it off the other one as well. Right, this one can take the four. I just want the shotgun, my main weapon, to just also be ridiculously powerful. And this can have the damage three. Cool. Done, diddly done. Let's go. We are booted and strapped, or whatever the term is. Um, right, any other re any other scannables? I guess that door isn't a door. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a that's a wonderfully 2D fire extinguisher. Right, okay, Jill's turn. In this chamber. Oh, I don't like this. Please wait. I don't like this at all. Some shit's about to go down here. 
What the? Good question. Is one of us about to get, like, killed here? Oh, hang on. Is this a... What the fuck is going on? This isn't like a laser... Um, room, is it? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, I recognize this motherfucker. Jill, I'm coming for you. I want to get I need to get behind it. Disposal has been terminated. Please wait for the gates to open. Did I get it? Achievement unlocked. Uh, I did. Achievement unlocked. A package deal. Nice. You just had to not shoot its shield thing, and it was, uh... Jill! Okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. I saw these holes in the wall and thought it might be one of those laser corridors. Um, well, gee, yeah, good. Thank fuck for that. Just don't shoot its, uh... That's some serious damage. It looked... That looked exactly like one of those things in Resident Evil 4. The tall, um, I call them predators. They, they look like predators. Um, was that Resident Evil 4? Yes, I, th I think it was. it was. It looked exactly like one of those, plus a shield. Anyway, I didn't mean to have the Magnum out, but it worked out a treat, so... Another one. Oh god, do we go back again? It's it's right behind us. Uh we can't. The door's red on the minimap under my face. Never mind. Oh Jesus. So hang on. The the thing we just read about sharks and stuff, was that this motherfucker? I, I figured it was talking about the underwater swimmy boys. But I think it mentioned uh, like tough as shit armor, so I'm guessing it actually meant those. My, those are big fish. Any, uh, any interaction? Jill gonna comment on the fish? No? Okay. Handprint. Hey. So these are the non-infected, just giant fish. I guess these are the ones from deep, deep in the sea. What the fuck? I know a desert eagle when I see one. L, L hawk. Oh right, I see. Um, oh shit, man. How much ammo have I got for it? I I can't say no to a fucking desert eagle. I'd be some sort of fool. Um, oh, you can't see like uh, weapon damage, etc. Um. Yeah, you can't see weapon damage without a, a box somewhere. Well, my shotgun is upgraded to all sh all shit, so I'm not loot dropping the shotgun, as is my magnum. I'll leave it here, because it will be in the box now, at least. It will be in the box, so I'll next, next weapon box, we'll inspect it. Goodbye, fish. What a fucking maniacal episode. <sighs> Nothing worse than a fast, strong, armoured bioweapon. Fortunately, those things are slow as shit. Make that same enemy fast, and then I will be shitting my pants. What the fuck? Why try to hide these facilities on a cruise ship? It makes a good cover. Who would ever suspect it? Good point. So we're still I hope in the. We can find out what the hell's going on. It's a good point. We're still in the ship. How far down have we gone? I did note how. Look how far down that fucking thing goes. I did note how massive it seemed. Like I've I've seen big ships up close. They're they're fucking big, but they're not that fucking big. I mean, th this ship is ridiculously big. I wonder if it's just not a ship. If it's stationary in one spot and it's just. You know, typical, like, Resident Evil camouflage on the surface and is hiding a base underneath. Which screams of Umbrella, by the way. 
even though we've had no mention of Umbrella um, in this game. It's just Veltro and the FBC. That was a waste. I grew up thinking Umbrella was like the main fucking bad guys in Resident Evil, but then I think they're just one of several organizations at this point. Anyway, let's go into this incredibly high-tech looking door. I didn't even have to pull like a handle or push a button. The virus is somewhere in this research area. So this is the secret of Zenobia. Did Raymond die, by the way? I sort of failed to, to see. I don't know if he died. I think he did. I'll see it when I edit the video. So we just walked in and right there front and center was the main source of like the virus, the red water. That was easy to find. Okay, AS. Not bad. Episode is over. Right. Okay. Fucking alarm's going off. Uh, we've been going an hour and 11 minutes. Um, there's nothing to edit out, so that's a straight hour and 11 minutes. And it's the end of the episode. I think I might call this episode here. It's um, it's a short one, but it's the end of the episode. It's a... Let me turn this down in my ear. The end of the episode. I can't just... Uh, it's a nice natural stopping point, so I am going to end it here. As long as my recordings are between an hour and an hour and a half, I'm happy. So thanks for joining me for this crazy-ass episode. Lots of progress was made. I mean, honestly, when I saw that tidal wave incoming on the ship, I just thought we Jill was fucked. <laughs> but hey, she's fine. And now Chris and, uh, Chris and Jessica, who I no longer trust at all, are here with us. Um, I tell you, Jill and Chris is the dream team right there. I don't know where the fuck Parker and Jessica have gone. In fact, I've just had a wave of bad feeling that just came over me. What if Jessica kills Parker? I do trust Parker. It's odd that he, he wanted to switch partners and go off with Jessica when they are both ex-FBC. Jessica is clearly full of shit. And Parker's got a question mark next to his name, but I've just got a bad feeling all of a sudden. That we're going to do whatever it is down here, and then it t it's going to turn out Parker is either injured or dead. And it's going to be Jessica's doing. I'm worried about Parker. Well, I guess we'll see what happens next episode. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar content. All my social media links in the description. Join the conversation on Discord, etc, etc, etc. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. Catch you guys in the next episode. Liquid Blitz. Out. Out.